Hi everybody, Bohush here for GoToughGear.com and PhotoDeox Pro. Uh, as you know, GoToughGear has created a huge line of GoPro accessories, and so we were anxious to get our hands on the new GoPro Hero 4. Uh, this is the Hero 4 Silver, and uh, we want to do a little unboxing, and uh, then we're going to add a couple of our accessories, make sure that everything still works okay. So uh, let's crack into this guy. Uh, let's see. If you've bought a GoPro before, they come in these kind of tall boxes, and uh, I usually hang on to the box because it does a better job of spelling out the features than the, uh, than the literature that comes inside sometimes. So let's see, there seem to be pull tabs here. Remember friends, set aside about an hour to unpack your GoPro camera. All right, now we un undo this one. Now, does it slide out free and easy? It does! Okay, that's never happened before. There's usually like a big thing of glue in there. All right, so I'm gonna put that over there. All right, now. They have a pull tab. It's like a rip cord because it's an action adventure camera. You get a rip cord. Here we go. Done. I'm going to save that for the collectors. All right. There. I always save these from these cameras. I don't know why. It doesn't do anything. But I, it's thick, clear plastic, so I've always saved these. Okay, but here's the camera itself. We unscrew. We do that. We get rid of that. Okay, now we've got the camera loose. Here's the quick release thingy. Loose. Now here's this top bit. This is glued onto the box. And um, I usually keep this, because you can like screw holes in it and bolt it onto something. So let's get this off. We can clean that up a little bit later. Now let me give you a few words of background on my history with the GoPro. Uh, I used to be a TV producer and I was one of the first guys to put GoPro on television when they were new. Um, and so I've been a big fan of GoPro since then. Not just as an action camera, but as like a great multi-purpose camera that I don't have to be like really careful about. And the, uh, the quality has just grown by leaps and bounds. It's an amazing little guy. Uh, so I'm very psyched about the Hero 4. Before we crack into the camera, let's see what all it comes with. Okay, you get, well, I don't know, you get a lot of stuff here. Okay, you get a sheet of stickers. You get safety stuff. Let's see if it's safety as long as my arm. No, not quite as long as my arm, okay. Uh, getting started, that's just a single sheet there. How about a quick start guide? Is this as long as my arm? It's longer, yes. The documentation is as long as my arm. Um, plus uh, warranty and disclaimers, which tells you if you kill yourself, that's on you. Let's just, let's just dump all this stuff out. Okay, so we've got a couple plastic quick release, uh, quick release clippy guys. Um, these have adhesive on them, so you can stick them onto any surface. Then we've got a little arm, little extender arm made out of uh, plastic. And this is a helmet mount with the quick release clip on it. USB cord. Ah, the battery. Controversially, GoPro has gone with another kind of battery again. And uh, so far, the scuttlebutt on the net, it's, uh, it's not good news about the battery and run times. But uh, we'll have to experiment with that in another video. Okay, this is important. You get a couple different doors here, okay? Because the back door on this little guy actually pulls off. The big feature of the silver is uh, it's, not as, it's not as expensive as the, uh, the Hero 4 Black. But also, it has the little screen built right in. You don't have to buy it as an accessory. And it's a touch screen. So the door that it comes with out of the box, that's the waterproof door. Plunge this into the water. Of course, you won't be able to operate the touch screen from here. For that, you'll need this door, which has this touch uh, sensitive kind of material. And uh, that does mean that you can't take it as deep underwater, right? This stuff isn't quite as waterproof resistant as the, the full bore cases. And then the last door is just open in the back. And I think that has the dual purpose of being able to operate the touch screen, as well as um, if you're shooting in an environment where you don't have to worry about water, that's gonna let more of this outside sound get in there. So you'd have better sound. And you know people have always kind of groused about the sound quality that comes out of a GoPro. But let's see, let's get this guy out of here. There we go. Okay, so it looks like it's about the same size and shape as uh, the prior Hero, the Hero 3 Plus, which uh, we use all the time. It's got the little door, the annoying separate door. 
Uh, why can't it be on a little thingy so you don't lose it? I don't know. Um, but there you go. That's what it looks like. So you do gain. You do gain a lot. You, you like I say, you save a couple bucks off of the Hero 4 Black. Plus, the screen is built right in, and it's a touch screen, so you can operate this guy. But of course, one of the main features is Wi-Fi connectivity, meaning that you can operate this from your phone. And once you do it, you'll never go back. It's a, it's an awesome way to run the camera. But uh, what I really like is that they've maintained the same kind of shape, the same kind of size, and this little forky bit down here at the bottom is the same, which means that all of the accessories that you've already got are gonna work. And guess what? That means all the cool accessories from GoTuff are gonna work. So let's, uh, let's get a couple of them out and press them into service. Okay, first let's take a look at the quick release clip that comes with your GoPro. Normally that snaps into this guy. This is the stick-on clip we looked at just a moment ago that comes with the kit. But we've got it in metal. So it's all aluminum, it comes in a whole bunch of different colors. Plus, you get a quarter 20 thread in the bottom, so you can use this on a tripod. You can actually have this living on a tripod and then take your GoPro off, put it on the chesty mount or whatever. Super handy. These are made out of aluminum so they can take a beating. Now if you have a more permanent installation in mind, we've also got a QR plate with these screw holes in it. It even comes with a little, little bag of screws. So you can bolt this onto a big plank of wood or onto the deck of a boat or something like that and it can just stay there. And because it's aluminum, it can take whatever you dish out. Now another way you can mount your GoPro onto a tripod is with this guy, the simple tripod adapter. It's uh, got a round shape, it's got the little quarter 20 thread down in the bottom, and um, hang on. You ever have this problem where the thumb screws, you can't, you can't loosen them because it's hard to get a grip? We've got the shark bite wrench. It's a wrench on one end for the thumb screws, bottle opener on the other end, and you know what that ends for. But let's, uh, let's unbolt here, there we are, easy. Another thing to note is that the original plastic accessories have this acorn nut that's kind of pressed in here. These can get lost. You can easily push this screw out and just, just kind of pop that out and then you're, well, you're screwed. Um, but with ours, it's actually integrated into the body of the adapter itself. So throw this guy on here like so. And we have the thumb screws in aluminum as well in a variety of colors. Great for um, you know your team kind of sports, or or also if you're at a shoot, you know there are more and more GoPros everywhere you go. You can now easily identify yours. Okay, so there's that guy. Now check out these little extenders. You'll notice they are actually different from one another. One will actually turn the camera 90 degrees, and one will not. The whole point of this is when you're using those little plastic arms to position your camera, each arm that you add turns the camera 90 degrees. So you might get it where it's perfect, it's the perfect length, but the camera's facing the wrong way. So you just add one of these little extenders to turn it back around the correct way. And these also come in a bunch of different colors. Now let's wrap up this video with the accessory that created the most excitement when we introduced it, the Wonder Pana Go filter system. Uh, GoPro does now offer a filter that kind of presses on uh, for when you're going underwater. And that's cool, we've got one of those too. But ours is an entire system. We've got macro filters, we've got ND filters, we've got a circular polarizer filter, a whole bunch of different stuff. And yes, it does work with the GoPro Hero 4. Let me show you how. Here's the kit right here. It just comes with a filter holder and a little screwdriver. Let's get the filter holder out. All you have to do is take this aluminum filter holder, pop it on the front of your case, Notice it does not affect the case being waterproof at all, it just presses onto the front there. And we've got a little, little set screw in the side, and you use the included screwdriver to just cinch that on, and there you go. And it's made out of aluminum because this is an action camera, so it's going to have to take some knocks. Uh, but now you're ready. So now you've got a filter thread, and uh, let's see, here are some filters I pulled off the shelf. Here's an ND8. An ND is sort of like sunglasses for your GoPro camera. This is great for when you've got, uh, when you're outside and the camera is trying to use its shutter to compensate for all the light coming in. And that's where you get your kind of jello vision stuff. By putting on the ND filter, then the electronic shutter inside isn't trying to compensate for all the light coming in. And you're not going to see that kind of jello vision effect that uh, is sort of a a footprint of the GoPro cameras. But we've got a whole bunch of different NDs, all the way up to ND32 if you need it. 
We also offer a circular polarizer, and we've gotten a ton of positive reviews online and on Amazon about the polarizer. The front section rotates independently. And this lets you dial in the effect. If you've never used a circular polarizer before, what it does is it uh, dials away reflections or like haze or glare, or even like really fine scratches in glass or on the surface of a car or something like that. And uh, it's a very good CPL. Uh, look it up online, you'll see we've got a lot of positive reviews. Plus, if you've got other filters in your collection, we offer the Mako Step Up Rings, which will take this up to a larger filter size that's compatible with kerjillions of filters out there. So there you go, Go Tough Gear is ready right now to outfit your new GoPro Silver camera and uh, give you even more image control than all the cool new features they stuffed inside this little camera. Because uh, nothing looks more real than just getting it right the first time instead of trying to fix everything in post. So I'm excited to go out and start shooting with this camera, I hope you are too. If you'd like to learn more about GoPro accessories, just click on the link down below this video. You'll see all of the great stuff that we've got available for you right now. And uh, if you'd like more videos just like this one, you know, product previews, overviews, unboxing, stuff like that, just click right here to subscribe and we'll make sure that you get more videos just like this one. My name is Bohush. Thanks for watching.